Nollywood actor Yomi Fashlansa, who campaigned for President Muhammadu Buhari in 2015, has written an open letter to the president following the killings in different parts of the country. Yomi in his open letter queried Buhari over the killings and herdsmen, farmers' crisis in the country despite his promise to Nigeria in 2015. The actor urged Buhari to confirm to Nigerians if cattle rearers are behind the killings and if Miyeti Allah is above the law even after taking responsibility for killings in some parts of the country. He urged Buhari to state if he is still in control of the country. The letter reads, I won't bother you sir, President Muhammad Buhari, Chief Security Officer of our sovereign nation under God. Nigeria. Quote, I would have loved to write you a letter but I know you won't get it even if it's through DHL, UPS, FedEx etc. Thus my reason of putting it up here on my page and tagging you because I know that via this medium you'll get it, or your page handlers will pass the message to you. Quote, I'm a born and bred in Nigeria man, Lagos state to be precise, and I've lived all my life in this beautiful country because I love my country. Not because I can't afford to check out with my family. So you will understand my stance, I followed you from 1984 to 2015 because of your integrity, anti-corruption campaign, tenacious stand and all one Nigeria advocacy you've always preached. Mr. President I was one amongst millions of young Nigerians that put the life, career, and family on the line to campaign for you when you showed interest in Nigeria politics because we believe you can put Nigeria back on the right path, and we were so happy when you eventually won in 2015. Some even lost their precious lives celebrating your victory. But, what went wrong sir? Are you still in control of security and safety of lives and property in Nigeria? Sir, are you now tribalistic as been alleged by some quarters in Nigeria? Sir, are you carrying out a Fulani agenda as been alleged by some quarters in Nigeria? Sir, are the lives lost been brutally and mercilessly slaughtered since 2015, not Nigerians? Sir, are you so sure that some politicians are the ones behind the mishaps befalling Nigeria? Sir, are the Miyeti Allah people that own up to the plateau, Banu and other state killings above the law? Sir, is the life of a cow worth more than that of a human? Sir, is it a norm that farmers' crops and vegetations which are a source of survival for them be destroyed because cow rearers need to graze the land? Quote, Sir, are you accepting the fact that cow rearers are killers in disguise? I'll stop here so while I and millions of Nigerians that campaigned and voted for you wait for answers via actions.